Hi everyone, this is Cody from Bridgecom Systems. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update the background image on your Anytone. So we'll power it up here. This is a pretty new Anytone. And it just has a standard black screen. But you can actually change this to any image that you'd like. So here we have just a standard black screen. So we're going to jump over to the computer and show you how to change that. Okay, so now we're over here on the computer. Uh, so first you want to go to your COM port settings. Make sure your radio is plugged in and turned on, and then select it here in the COM port. Then what we want to do is read from your radio. So we're going to read and just read the other data. Okay, there we go, it's completed. So then go ahead and go to Optional Settings, go to the Display tab, and down here where it says standby BK picture, go ahead and change that from default to custom. And then what we want to do is go up to tool and click on standby BK picture. And now we're going to open an image. You can see I have one there I've been working with. Now there's two types of files that you can use. You can use a bitmap file format or a JPEG. And the resolution, the proper resolution is 160 by 128. Now that's a, a 5 by 4 aspect ratio. Uh, now you can use any size image or aspect ratio, uh, but it, it will resize it. So if your aspect ratio isn't correct, it's going to actually squish the image. Uh, so it would be advised just to use these ratios here. Um, now for the actual background, it's best if it's a dark image just because the text on the display is white and it's not going to show up very well otherwise. So we're going to open this file here and then write that to the radio. There we go. Then we're going to close out of here. Go up, make sure, wait for your radio to reboot. There we go. It showed up again in the COM port. So now we can go ahead and write to the radio, just write the other data. And there we go, we're all set, so let's go have a look at it. Okay, so here we are back at the radio. Let's see how it looks. And there we go, we can see the image back there. With it being a dark image, the display still looks uh, very functional, you can still read it. Uh, so that's pretty much it. A super easy process. You can put any image on there you'd like, uh, whatever you can get into that, that size and that file format. So that's it for now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with anyone you know who wants to do this to, your, to their radio. It's a real fun feature. Uh, so don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss out on any future content we have coming your way. So that's it for now. I'm Cody from Bridgecom Systems, 7-3.